This is the tenth bloody time I'm trying to record this. Anyway, hey guys, Mofisto here with something a little bit different. So some of you guys have been telling me that you have been having uh, problems installing and running the 2003 mod, and that you would also like a um, guide to installing F1 Challenge VB Super Mod. So I decided to make a tutorial video of sorts. Now, bear in mind that this is the first time I've ever tried anything like this, unless of course you count that nine, the other nine failed attempts. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so if I sound a little bit off or my explanations don't really make much sense, that's why. Another thing I want to talk about is um, I'm using a different software to record this from what I generally do which is Fraps and that is because as far as I can tell Fraps is unable to record the desktop so I needed something to record this obviously so I did, uh, downloaded the free version of Bandicam and because it's free there are a few drawbacks one would be the fact that I can only record in 10 minute sessions and the other one is as you can see at the top of the screen there is this quite annoying little watermark but I'm hoping that it won't interfere too much with our video so I guess I'll start with the 2003 mod and if I can do I can explain everything in a timely, timely fashion then we might do the um, F1 Challenge VB one as well in this video. If not, then I guess we'll leave it till next week or something. I don't know. So anyway, let's look at downloading the mod first. As you can see here, I've already searched on Google for Race for Sim, which is a website from where we can download it. It's you can probably find it on other websites as well but this is what I trust where I where I downloaded it from and I actually trust this site so take that as you will so let's click on this link and wait for the page to load okay go to the um, search box here type in 2003 hit enter go all the way down to this one here this is actually the one I've linked to in my 2003 videos so this is where you'll end up anyway so click on this well this is the page you'll be on and now if we scroll all the way down here we can see two uh, links to two different file sharing services one is mega the other one is Mediafire. I I have some issues with Mega downloading through Mega. Uh, it's basically a subscription. You basically need to pay a sus subscription fee. They have a free service as well, but it seems that it's quite limited in how much you can download. So I'm not willing to wait seven hours to download a 60 megabyte file. So we are going to, I at least I'm going to download it through Mediafire. Click on that. Well, I actually have it downloaded. I'm just going to show you how to do it in case someone doesn't know. So, we now, we now need to click on download. And there it is. It started downloading. Again, I already have it on my PC, so I'm not going to download it again but you will obviously want to leave it until the end so I'm going to click on cancel close that close that and now it is on our PC computer whatever you want to call it now we go to C users Mephisto and the downloads I think the the download the downloads folder on XP is slightly different but 
I'm sure you know where your download folder is, right? So anyway, here is the file we've downloaded. As you can see, it is a archive, which you can extract using something like WinRAR or 7-Zip or stuff like that. To extract it, what you need to do is double click and you select all by pressing Control R, Control A or dragging a box. Well, you don't have to do it. I do it out of habit. Then you click on Extract to, and here you will specify the path you would you want to extract the file. So I won't do it again. I already did it beforehand, so I don't have to. But you'll have once you specify the di the directory where you want to uh, extract this to. You click on OK and it will start extracting. So I'm going to close this. And here we have our folder. As you can see, it has the exact same name as the zip file. So we double click on that. And here we have a another file. And in this, we have five objects, five items, rather, two of which are these readmes. You can go ahead and read them if you want to. I'm not going to. And then you have this thing here, which is the base mod. Then we have the expansion to it. And then we have the track updates, which for this particular mod comes in six di with six different installers, one for each track. So the first thing you want to do is install, obviously, the base. Uh, mod, you double click on that, hit say yes to the user account control, uh, yes, agree, it will automatically detect where you have your installation, where you have your game installed, so this is what you'll get, you'll kill, you need to click next, and then install and it will install it to your game. Next you will want to install the expansion pack and finally the track packs. It doesn't matter what in what order you install them but if you want to have the latest and well the updated tracks then you will want to. It's not really necessary but if you want to have a more authentic 2003 season this is how you do it. Now, uh, a few little, a few more things I want to talk about. The best thing to do is to try to install the mod on a clean uh, game that hasn't been modded pr prior to this. So, it's that's to make make sure it works properly. Now, a few more things you will probably want to do. Ignore my background. Um, you'll want to right click on the executable for your F1 challenge game go to properties compatibility and here you need to set the uh, compatibility to Windows 98 slash Windows ME this is absolutely necessary I think even if you're on XP also if you're on Vista 7 8 or 10 you will need to run this as administrator. You don't need this on XP because as far as I can tell, as far as I remember even, it, that wasn't necessary back then, but it is now. And the video is starting to turn out a little bit long, so I guess I'm going to stop it here. And next week I'm going to talk about how to install and get the F1 Challenge VB mod running, which is this little guy here. But yeah, uh, I hope you understood what I... I hope, I hope I made myself clear enough. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you didn't understand something, please feel free to comment. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.